Hey guys, how's it going? Brandon here and welcome back you guys to another Pokemon Team Builder. Today we are finishing off Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Reimagined Team Builders with everyone's favourite starter. If you tell me otherwise, you are just absolutely lying to yourself. It is, of course, Meganium. Now, of course, quick disclaimer before we get this team builder underway that this is opinion based. If you want to change anything about this team, then go ahead and do so. It is your journey through Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. I am just giving you a rough basis of something that you could use, some different variants, some different alternatives that you could use for a team uh, playing through the game. Uh, so before you butcher me in the comments for using certain mons or making mistakes Just remember that we don't use trade evolutions. We don't use version exclusives We also don't use stone evolutions in uh, these unless it's like the one-off moonstone that you can get because they are very hard to attain And I want to make this for you. Uh, I want to make this easy as possible for you guys uh, But without further ado, let's get into the team up first, as previously mentioned, it's everyone's favorite starter. It's Meganium now, of course um, I don't think I need to talk too much on Meganium. It does struggle in the department in terms of viability in-game uh, compared to its counterparts. Really solid defenses, really actually solid mon across the board in terms of its stats. Uh, I've gone with a sense of, in the previous team builders, I used it with Espeon, which is sort of like a screens uh, setter. So uh, other members of the team can sort of set up and do things. Uh, with these high defenses, it's sort of the kind of thing that you have to do for this thing. Petal Dance, Magical Leaf. Petal Dance locks you in, but it's higher base power. So if you've only got to deal with two Mons, you're probably better off clicking Petal Dance. Where just for overall, Magical Leaf also can't miss. So everything sort of double teaming on you or sand attacking, whatever. Magical Leaf will never miss, which is always really nice. Of course, it's your starter. Some of our alternatives throughout the game, of course, I'm going to put Vileplume and Victory Bell in there because they are normally the standards. And then, of course, Chuck and Jump Club in there just for the absolute meme because you guys hated it when I did it before. So absolute meme, got to chuck it in there. But long-term subscribers of the channel remember our boy T-Punks. So Meganium has somewhat, sometimes been a staple on the channel, just as a sort of little sub-channel mascot of one of those Meryl Wands mons that we've used within a run. Um, so I don't hate Meganium. I don't think it gets as much... I don't think it deserves as much hate as it gets, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, it's certainly not the most amazing mon in the world, of course. There are, in terms of my play style as well, I prefer things that just hit hard and get the hell out of there. But, you know, it does a job for the team. It is arguably one of the best grass types in the game, considering the lack of. Um, but yeah, it's our starter. We know what it does. It is the game. On to Pokemon 2 then, you guys. And we have a staple within Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver in terms of its usage from my past teams to your teams that I see in the comment section below. It is Ampharos. And it's clear to see why this thing does so well in the games. Uh, really early on it can be the reason and it will be the reason that you guys get past the first gym in Faulkner Because you will need that electric type to be dealing with those flying types because Meganium will not be able to do it by itself Discharge signal beam focus blast and thunder wave is the move set thunder wave because this thing has base 55 speed So slowing things down is going to be really nice modest nature because why not? I think timid is just not viable at this point if it was base 70 I'd probably say yeah timid go for it but 55 no plus built with thunder wave as well this thing's got really good hp and special defense so can take those uh neutral hits quite well signal beam and focus blast just for a little bit of coverage static as well which means anything hits this thing with a physical attack has a chance to be paralyzed as well um so if you wanted to run the timid just because things are going to get paralyzed and you guarantee outspeed them with timid then i can understand that our alternatives this time around are right through jolteon and lantern of course uh, three really solid alternatives and really good in-game mons to use. Route 32 is the earliest you can get this thing as well, so really early on the game. It's fantastic. We've all, I think we've all gone through the games and used that for us at least once. And if you haven't, uh, is arguably one of the better in-game mons that you can get. It is viable throughout the entire game. Water types are absolutely everywhere in Pokemon games. So having an electric type is always good. We've covered water types immediately with our first two members as well. Uh, it's solid. It's an absolute beast of a team member. It's our second team member. It is Ampharos. On to Pokemon number three, you guys. And did somebody say we need a bit of speed? Because we have Crobat, a mon that really comes into its own and is really overlooked in game, I think. Uh, the only part that lets it down for me is probably the moveset at this point. I really wish it got access to a little bit more coverage. But yeah, we've put Crobat into the team. The poison flying type is just a really nice bit of coverage to have across the team. Uh, really nice defensive typing as well, you'd be surprised. Uh, the, this thing really does just do the damage. In terms of uh, blocking those ground type moves for Ampharos, you uh, can swap in either your Meganium to resist them, or you can swap in your Crobat to just be completely immune to them as well. Cross Poison, Fly Wing, Attack U-Turn, Cross Poison, just Hard hit, Hitting Stab, 
poison type move. Uh, remember, Sludge Bomb is actually special, so you want to be using physical attack because this thing's a physical attacker. Fly and wing attack. Fly's two turn move, but hits a little bit harder, but there's a chance to miss. So I thought, let's give you wing attack. 60 base power, I know, is a little bit on the weaker side, um, but it guaranteed to just hit once every turn if you need to. And U turn, it's really quick. Use that U turn if you're going to be getting out, maybe hit something super effectively, do the correct switch. Uh, inner focus is an ability, so you can't get uh, flinched here, which would be nice. Zubat into Golbat at 22, and then Golbat into Crobat with a nice bit of happiness. So just run around with Golbat for a bit, and you can get Crobat, uh, Crobat pretty soon. Route 32 is also the earliest you can catch a Zubat as well. For the alternatives to this run, I've gone with the Fero that you can get. I think you get is it Kenya. So it's like the Gift Fero that I know a lot of people like to use because of the boost of the XP. Dragonite, probably arguably the best flying type in the game, but quite late game, so it's up to you. And then Skarmory, just as if you can use Skarmory. A Steel type is always a really solid addition to any team, and Skarmory is no different to that. It's a very solid team member. Uh, but yeah, Crobat is criminally underrated. I think I've used it multiple times in different team builders, and I think I say it every time that, you know, it hits really hard with the Adamant Nature. It doesn't need the boosted speed. It's already base 130, so it hits hard. It's really quick. It's going to go first. It does a really good job for you. Fantastic team member. It's our third team member. It is Crobat. On to Pokemon number four, and did somebody say we needed a Mon that is just the GOAT? This thing, I've always been an advocate for arguably one of the best in-game Pokemon to date. It is Slowbro. This thing is stupid. Uh, Surf, Ice Beam, Flame, Flash, Shadow Ball. Coverage for days. And you're wondering, it's a Psychic type. Why haven't you got Psychic on it? Because Psychic's post-game. We're only going up to Lance. Don't butcher me in the comments please for the love of christ um yeah so i've not gone with um a psychic type move on this thing uh, only because the coverage it gets is really quite nice and actually um you don't really worry too much about needing psychic uh shadow ball you know does really well against the ghost types covers it's nice to get coverage can hit other psychic types with it flamethrower and ice beam why the hell not would you want those moves surface stab as well um yeah so you're not really too worried about poison types and there'll be a member of team later on and why you're not afraid of poison types so why the psychic isn't really needed you can get this thing as early as slowpoke well so we've got 14 members before even before even facing bugsy so really really solid our alternatives this time around starmie if you want a hard hitting fast um special water, uh, water psychic you can run starmie gyarados arguably the best physical water type in the game period still that is correct to this date and quagsire because he's a goofy little little man and i love him and he's got a lovely little smile and he's just adorable uh oblivious ability kind of a met ability can't get attracted who really cares um i will say that the grind to get Slowbro is probably the most downside to this mon getting it all the way to level 37 can be tedious um but you get it quite early on that it's part of the team and it sort of just levels up and rolls with the punches and sort of does what it needs to do uh modest nature of course because base 30 speed we're not going to be wanting to boost that speed at all but base 95 HP, 80 special uh, defense, and 110 base physical defense uh, means this thing just tanks hits, hits back really hard with a modest base 100 special attack, and then you can use your potions or everything else to make sure this thing stays healed. Uh, this thing's great. It's, like I've said, I've always advocate that this Starmie, Gyarados, Lantern are probably up there. Lapras being just in-game water types are just an essential for any team builder. A good water type on your team is just essential at this point, and yeah it just it just ticks every box that it needs to tick it's a solid team member it's brilliant it's slow bro on to pokemon number five you guys and we have probably a hidden gem in ambipom this thing actually hits really hard and it's really quick and yeah it's really really good um return brick break aerial Ace, shadow claw now i will say double hit because of the technician boost does actually do more damage than return it does like two percent more on like a damage calc but double hit does have that chance to miss so it's completely up to you if you would rather use um return or double hit that's your call uh brick break has a nice bit of coverage aerial ace and shadow claw again ghost types i'm a normal type having shadow claw is really nice aerial ace for the fighting types brick break we don't have a fighting type let's hit things with brick break Adamant to boost up that already base 100 uh, physical attack. You don't need to boost the speed. It's base 115. This thing doesn't have great defenses, but 9 times out of 10, if you're just looking for a hard-hitting normal type move, you know, it's, it's going to do a nice, really nice stab boost bit of damage. Aerial Ace is boosted by Technician. I can't remember with Brett Break and Shadow Claw. I don't think they are. I don't think it's low enough uh, base power. Uh, the alternatives you can do for this are Tauros. Tauros is a really underrated hard-hitting normal type. 
Pidgeot because we'd already used Fira in the other one and I thought why not just chuck Fira in there. And then of course the Route 1 normal type or the Route 1, it's not Route 1 in this game obviously. But Furret's in there as well because who doesn't love using a little Furry Furret? Um, all you furries out there get your kicks um, Route 33 you would need to find this thing by headbutting a tree so you might be using that furret to headbutt trees um, to be able to get an apom and then it evolves into ambipom make sure you teach it double hit so it can evolve into said ambipom this thing is really underrated in my opinion I think it hits really hard for in game base 100 is really really good plus adamant nature again like I said it's just going to boost those physical attacks and hit even harder it's a solid team member it's our fifth team member it is Ambipom. On to the final team member then you guys. And did somebody say we need some physical defense up in here? We have Steelix and I can already see the comments going absolutely crazy. This man said no trade evolutions. He's chucking Steelix in there. He's gone absolutely crazy. He has no idea what he's talking about. He's got old, he's got senile in his old age. I'm only 25, I'm 25 now guys, Jesus. No, you can actually catch Steelix in the cliff cave in the wild. You can catch wild Steelix in the cliff cave. It's actually mental. I didn't believe it at first. And then I was like, holy crap, you actually can find wild Steelix um, in the wild. So even though it says evolve from Onyx, you're not going to be finding or catching an Onyx. Um, I believe there's like a trade Onyx you can get. So if you want to get the Onyx and then do the trade or I, I don't know. I think there's a trade Onyx. I don't know if it's holding a metal coat to get a Steelix. But I know for a fact that for every player, you can catch a Steelix in cliff cave. Alternatives, Golem, Scizor, and Donphan. Golem, Rock, Ground type, hits really hard. Is a trade evolution though. Scizor, hard hitting, uh, Steel type, trade evolution though. Donphan, hard hitting Ground type, version exclusive, I think. Don't quote me on that. Rock Head as an ability is kind of meh, because it's unstep Head Smash, if it even did get Head Smash, which it might do, but I think it's like level 60 something to get Head Smash. I can't remember off the top of my head. I'm not a Pokemon encyclopedia. Um, so moveset wise we've gone Iron Tail, Earthquake, Stone Edge, Crunch, really box standard sort of hard hitting physical Steelix moveset. Iron Tail as we know has a chance to miss but 9 times out of 10 you're clicking Earthquake, let's be honest it's Earthquake, Earthquake go brr, that's the meme. Uh, Stone Edge and Crunch for a nice little bit of coverage as well. Adamant Nature, again what other nature would you really want to put on this thing? Uh, base 85 physical attacks, let's boost it up a little bit. Base 200 defense, any physical attack Steelix laughs at, any poison type. Steelix laughs at. Um, yeah, you're not going to be wanting to boost that special attack. No one cares. Lowered special defense, but we've got things like Light Screen um, on Meganium. We've got things like Slowbro to take hits. Um, you know, any sort of special attack. We've got the coverage there. Amphros can take a hit very well. Meganium can take a hit really well. Slowbro can take a hit really well. And then we've got our hard hitters in uh, Crobat, Ambipom, and Steelix. Even though Slowbro hits really hard. Amphros hits really hard and Meganium sort of there just to e e uh, cheer and ego everyone on. But yeah, Steelix is a, is a solid team member. You look at those stats and you go, yo, this thing really doesn't care about physical hits, even if they're super effective. Like, it just tanks them for days. It's a brilliant, brilliant mon and a beast. And you can find it in the wild, so use it. Because it's not very common that you can get a trade evolution mon in the wild. So our final team member, it's Steelix. So that is going to be it for today's team builder, you guys. Based around Meganium, let's quickly run through that team one more time. We have Meganium, Amphros, Crobat, Slowbro, Amphipom, I need to say Amphros again then, and Steelix. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button and the like button and comment your teams for Meganium or just any teams in general for Heart Gold, Soul Silver down below. But that is it for our Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver reimagined team builders. I imagine next that the teams that will be coming will be Scarlet and Violet. I'm sorry there's been a delay. I actually haven't been well for like the past two and a half weeks. I've been really ill. Um, it's just working with kids. It's clearly just knocking my immune system. Um, I have managed to now finish the games. So I've got a good idea of sort of teams I want to do. I have sort of planned the teams. I just need to make the graphics and get all the footage and everything because I will need to get footage for these team builders. So do give me time. I am going to say that they probably will be coming in the new year. So this will probably be my last video before uh, the end of the year. So I would just like to finish this off by saying I hope everyone has a lovely, uh, lovely Christmas or happy holidays to everyone, whatever you're celebrating anywhere around the world. Enjoy your holidays. Enjoy the time off. Enjoy your time with family, friends. Enjoy the food. Um, and if you can, help someone out. You know, be that person that goes that extra mile to give someone some love and support this time of the year. Uh, it can be rough for certain people. I'm sending my love and my wishes to absolutely everyone out there. 
I hope you have a blessed holidays. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.